Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lucas Dentist here. In today's video, I'm gonna show how you can manage several local service ads accounts using a MCC. Yeah, you heard that right. You are able to manage several local service ads accounts using a MCC, just like you used to do on regular Google Ads. And it kind of works as the same way, the same concept. You can put all of your sub accounts there, or if you're a client, if you are an agency owner, for example, or if you are a contractor like I am, uh, and you have different clients, you can manage them all in one single place without having to do all that back and forth, getting out of the account, getting to a different account. You can manage them all from one single platform, which is great. And this is where we're going to dive in today. Anyway, here we have this dashboard in my screen. This is the MCC for the agency. And we have several clients here, as you see. We even have one of them here, uh, which is duplicated. So this client, they do roofing, but they also do siding. The first account we created for them was only for roofing. And then we finally realized that we have to create a different account if you want to add a new service. So this is one of the tips of this video. So when you create an account, make sure that you add all the services and keep in mind that all those categories, they might require a license for you to upload. So don't go crazy thinking that you do service within a category that you're able to put them all in your profile. You do have to have a license. And if Google requires a license, you have to provide it. If you stay until the end of this video, I will share some exclusive tips on how you can have better chances of having your clients approved on local service ads. There's some things that you must know. For example, if your location is not approved yet, if your zip code is not approved yet, there are a few things that you could do, a few things you could try, and other tips on how to have more success with onboarding clients. And in some cases, I will explain that later, some tips on how to onboard clients. But anyway, I just want you to see how the dashboard looks like. So in here, on this dashboard, I'm able to see their weekly budget, how the bids were made. I'm doing automatic for every one of them. This is what we have noticed to be the best so far, but everything's test. There's one client that I'm studying the possibility of changing the bids, and we will see how that works, if it's better or not. And, but you can see here uh, how many leads they have been charged, how many calls they have had during this period, how many connected calls, and how much they have spent on the current month and also in the previous month show all the numbers here. So you can see in a glimpse of an eye, you can see how your clients are doing on that month. And you can compare with the previous one to see if you're getting better, if you are decreasing in performance. Anyway, it's just a way for you to get this information more visual and easier using this platform. So one of the things that I wanted to show you is that from here, you can simply get into any of these accounts like you would normally do when you create like an individual account. When you create an individual account, this is what you see. You see the leads. On the left side, you'll see the same options that you see here from business verification and down. So you see business verification, you see leads, policy manager, reports, review, all the way down to send feedback. So you're familiar, you should be familiar with these options on the left side. So here it doesn't change anything. So here you can click on reports, for example, so here we are on reports. One of the things I've noticed is that it defaults to the last month. It always defaults to the last month. Right now we're December 5th and it shows data from November as default, but you can always change to this month. And this we're going to see here, this client had had four leads, two of them from phone, two of them from message. The average cost for leads $100. So this is something that we probably will be looking to decreasing this cost per lead. Anyway, so here you can see exactly like you would see in an individual account. That's what I wanted to show. And the most important is that for agency owners, for people who are managing several accounts, you can see here all of your live accounts, which was the screen we were before. It's loading now, but we are able to have a glimpse of all the accounts that we currently have ads running for. So as you can see here, these are all the clients that we are currently running ads for. And the thing that I most like here is that you can also see your onboarding clients. And, and this is the best dashboard you can see because you can see exactly what's missing for them to be approved. So you can see the business name, the location, category, headshots, you can see the type of bids we're using, license, if it's applicable, it's going to show up here, if they have passed insurance, if you have added professionals, if they have passed through a background check, if applicable, review link, if they have generated one, if he has enough reviews, if we have information for budget, payment info, and also the license. So you can see exactly where your clients are on the onboarding process from this single dashboard. 
which I really like. And this has really made our lives easier to manage this clients going forward. Let's jump to like a few questions that I know you probably will ask. First of all, how to create an MCC? So this is something that goes, I've seen videos showing how to do this, but I didn't found a process that works 100% of the times. When I created my MCC, I'm even going to pull up the page, how it looks like. So this is the login, how you see before you actually choose the account you want to work from. And I have two MCCs here. These are two agencies that I provide services for. And you can see right here is written manager. When I've created this it was a long Long time ago i already had the mcc on google ads it's this exact same id from google ads the only different thing that happened is that the time that i have added the first local service ads account to this account that's when it showed up as a manager account but the thing is i've tested i've done that i have just created a new mcc account and then i went ahead and created a local service ads account as a test and then i added to this new mcc but I still don't see it here. It might take a few days. It might not work at all, but I'm just being honest with you guys because if I knew how to do it, I would be showing right here. That's what I do in this channel, but I haven't found a way that, that works 100% of the times. But uh, that will be my advice, uh, will be you create a regular MCC account on Google Ads, and i'm just going to go to the process with you here so under accounts we would then click on plus and then create new manager account and of course you choose manage my accounts actually this one is going to manage other people's account that's the first option you're going to choose so here you're going to name the account and then on the account type you're going to choose manage other people's account you're going to choose the country just like you would do a normal mcc account a regular mcc account but then after you have created what you will do is you will access this mcc account and then then on accounts you're gonna click on add and then you're gonna link an existing account this is the same process if your client already has a local service as account and they want to add you as a collaborator this is the same process you will follow you will log into your regular Google Ads account on your MCC and then add the ID from here and you will be able to manage this account going forward again if you want to use an MCC account or local service ads account you can try this procedure I'm not sure if it's going to work 100% of the times but if you would like to add new clients to your existing MCC account this is the same process you will follow so there are a few things that you need to know before you onboard clients for example that's something that has happened with my client this is a client that operates in several zip codes and when I try to sign up this client I got the message that the local service ads was not available in their area yet and then I chose a neighbor zip code a zip code that's right next to it and we were able to get approved so if you're having problems getting this client signed up with local service ads because it's not available in their area yet try to check the other zip codes where your client can service and use one of those in the application because that could be the game changer to have your client signed up with local service ads the other thing is don't choose generic categories one way to think is that this is going to bring more people to get in touch with your client but it also means you can get more not qualified leads disqualified leads asking for things that you don't do or maybe like cheap jobs that you rather not take so follow these tips and you'll be able to get better results on local service ads that's it i hope you enjoyed this content of this video like i said this channel right here is to share information knowledge is power how can we make you more powerful this is the objective of this channel so i hope you guys enjoy this content i see you on the next one and don't forget to subscribe and leave your like on this channel and if you have any ideas for videos you can leave in the comment section see you guys on the next one